For this painting, you'll need a small brush. I'm using the initial one brush from the starter set from Inkston. You'll also need a cloth to remove the excess water. Some clean water, some schwamm paper, and of course, Chinese ink. You start with a clean brush and take a little bit of ink and make sure it's really heavy loaded with water. Then you get that fuzzy effect on your paper. In the beginning you'll probably have to retry a couple of times to get the right consistency. By making a circular movement you create the head. Don't push too hard, but instead look how the water is absorbed by the paper. With the same circular movement, you start filling up the head, but leave a little white space for the eye. Remember that it's important to keep your white space in the Chinese painting. Then we will make the body, which is a, again a circular movement. Don't push too hard on the brush until it gets on the end. Clean your brush so you'll have a light grey to create the second bunny. Paint the ears of the second bunny, fast but controlled. With the same light grey you can create the second bunny's head. Also here remember to leave some white space for the eye. Then again the same movement for the body. Using light strokes you can draw the feet of the bunny. Clean your brush and make sure to remove all the excess water. Take some ink and make sure it's dry. Be careful when drawing the nose, do not interfere with the other line as this one is still wet. It may cause the ink to flow into that line and create a effect you don't want. Take a little bit of water in your ink to create the tails of your bunnies, which are just simple dots. Remove the water from your brush and only take ink to create the eyes. Carefully draw the shape of the eye. Don't paint the complete eye, but leave a white dot in the middle of the eye.
and last final step with the dry brush you can draw some whiskers I hope you enjoyed this video on how to paint bunnies. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more of my work, check out my Instagram.